What's going on, foodie ohanas? Welcome back to the channel. Day 7 of Vlogmas Marathon. <laughs> we hope you guys are enjoying this Vlogmas and welcome to day 7. <laughs> Yay! Hope you're not tired of us. But I know, don't unsubscribe. <laughs> do the opposite. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> anyway. Today, we are having people come over. Why? Tell them why. To finally install our curtains. Yay. So we can finally walk around <laughs> naked. So we can finally have some privacy. Yeah, it's just been way too bright. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like it though, because it's like a natural alarm, you know? That's true. Like, ah, I can't wake up. So I just finished working out. Amanda just finished editing the video that's being uploaded at 3 o'clock today. Vlogmas number six. If you guys haven't caught that one, please do. That one was a pretty good one, I would say. Pretty interesting. The person that's coming to change out our oven thing that's dented is coming as well. Oh yeah, if you guys haven't seen our home video tours and all that, and you just tuning in, our appliances, brand new, came in dented. They're going to replace the range cover and the fridge. The drawer cover. The drawer cover of the range. The fridge is also dented, but that the will door. be done later. The door, the fridge door. Yeah. We'll be filming all day our adventure, so make sure you stay tuned and keep watching. <laughs> and see what we eat, because we don't even know what we're eating today. What yeah, are we eating today? We're sick of Vietnamese food. Yeah. And Lucy says hello, as always. <laughs> so guys, because the people coming to install our drapes are coming today, I actually have to kind of move our bed. So right now, the situation is our bed is on the ground, like straight up on the ground, not on a platform or anything, because we were waiting for the people to install the drapes before we install our bed frame. A lot of people were talking about um, a storage bed, and we actually did get a storage bed frame a while ago. It's just we haven't built it yet because we are waiting for them, because it's kind of hard. It's not like it has wheels or anything and it's really heavy so we wanted to install our curtains and then put our frame down so yes we've been really really bad and sleeping on the ground but anyway i mean sleeping with the mattress straight up on the ground but anyway i am going to fold up our linens and kind of clear the area by the window for the bedroom and the living room and yeah cue the montage Christmas memories, oh, and I've been Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh oh La da 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 oh oh Alright Fudio Hana, so we just finished setting up everything for the installers to come You know, give them some working room so they don't have to like tippy toe around, you know, all of our furniture But I want to show you guys a real quick state of the home kind of <laughs> the current state of it and um, we're gonna when everything is done we're gonna do a complete home tour yeah one final yeah one of these days so don't worry about that we'll get into that so far this is what it looks like we moved our coffee table we moved the kitchen table all the way down there we moved the coffee table Amanda's bookshelf. Oh, I gotta show you guys. We move this chase over here. Give them some working room. They're gonna be drilling into the ceiling there. And the ceiling is cement, so it's gonna be a lot of dust. The only thing I will say I'm worried about is the TV because this is like all they have. And this I, I'm, I'm not moving this. It's too scary for me. So I'm just afraid they're gonna be drilling up here and then something drops or whatever. Like, choo, whoosh, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen, but yeah. And Lucy's wondering why her couch is configured in such a way. About the chase again. Luckily, you see these latches? This is how they hook on. And I was afraid that the chase was the first piece and that all the other sofas were latched onto that one that would have meant that we had to remove every single one in order to move the chase out so thankfully the chase was the last piece so it hooks onto this small victories you know you guys gotta celebrate your small victories what is this i was trying to put towels on so it doesn't get dusty but the towels are too small um put it um crosswise yeah like that not length oh and of course our bedroom so we moved everything 
Uh, we flipped up yeah. the mattress <laughs> standing. Oh yeah, also, if you guys have these kind of mattresses where it is a uh, pocketed coil type of mattresses, let us know, like, does it affect the integrity of the mattress if you put it upright? Because I don't know if it like causes it to slunk down, you know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just worried that because it's in an upright position, all the coils are gonna sag down to the bottom or something, I don't know. Let, let us know if that, that's a problem. Anyway, we're just gonna chill and hang out for now, wait for them to come and uh, see you guys then. Ohana, so they just finished our curtains or drapery installation. Want to give a big shout out to Francis and Aaron from Wong's Drapery. They did an awesome job. They were super fast, super friendly. We were just talking story about the flooding and the craziness with the rain and such. Anyway, now for the premiere, for the moment you've all been waiting for. Or we've been waiting for. <laughs> well, Amanda's not here. She's walking the luge because she's such a demon sometimes when it comes to strangers in her uh, personal space. She couldn't stop barking. So Amanda went to the mall. Hope you're not shopping. Anyway, here is our drapes. So for the bedroom, we decided to get blackout curtains because on the days that we're not working, we would like to sleep in sometimes. And we've never had blackout curtains before, so I'm super excited to see if it works. I'm super excited to see if it allows us to sleep in a little bit longer because of the Hawaii sunshine blinding us all the time. But anyway, I think that's pretty dark considering... Oh, let me close the bedroom door. Aaron and Francis did mention that, you know, it's not gonna be completely 100% dark. I'm pretty satisfied with this. I mean, I could definitely sleep in if it looks like this. I hope Amanda agrees. She hasn't seen the curtains yet. Let's go check out the living room. So this is the living room. We got the same color curtains. I feel like it was the best color that fit our theme, I guess, of our condo. It also has these batons, so it's easier. We opted out for the motorized curtains because, I mean, first of all, it's expensive. And secondly, like it takes way longer to open and close the curtains. And if it breaks down, it's going to be expensive to fix. So we just got the classic baton style. Close this side up like that. Oh, it has still allows some natural lighting to come in. Oh, it looks really bright on the screen. Originally, if money was not an issue and I ha we had all this disposable income, I would have wanted two. Wanted uh, kind of like a light curtain like this on the outside. And on the inside, I actually wanted like a sheer liner to give it a more natural flowy look with a sheer liner on the inside, but it is a separate track track that runs along the top so and I guess the style of the track is three-quarter style so this would be a two-quarter size curtain right here closing and then this side is just the other quarter to open like that so if you don't want uh, pesky neighbors across the street staring in you could do that but yeah I'm super stoked I really hope Amanda likes it just waiting for her to finish up the mall. I'm guessing she's shopping because it's been over an hour now. And I'm also starving, so maybe I should give her a call. Oh, I think she's here now. I actually hear her. the doors, the keys. Babe, I swear I heard the keys jingle. I guess, oh, yep, there she is. Look who's home. Wow, it looks good. Ow. Oh my goodness, more shopping. Guys, is that a Sephora bag? 20% off everything at Sephora. 20% off? Wow. Why does it look like a green tinge? I don't know. What do you think, Lou? You like the curtains? Oh, I <laughs> whoa, 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 what's going on? What's that? 
<laughs> it's hot. I'm wearing pants, don't worry. Well, I have to upload this on OnlyFans. Wow, the material's nice though. And how do you close it? Oh, right there. It's a uh, three quarters split. That way, if you want light, you can leave that open and... Dude, it's it. so smooth. This is quite lovely. Someone was being a mischief earlier, I've heard. Do so we I need those it. things that are like this? Yeah, you know, it came like that when they put it in, but I think it was just from the packaging. You know, like that. No, but like, thing. aren't they supposed to give you like that, the ribbon thing? Or no, you gotta buy a separate. Oh. Yeah, After we spend that much money, we gotta buy it separate. Yeah. So what? We like tooth floss it or something? Oh, I have a ribbon from Daiso. Oh, we can ribbon it. There you go. Oh, that'd be cute. Let's show up the bedroom. Yes. Okay, let's see. How dark is this? I wasn't sure if it was up to your standards. Oh my goodness! Is that dark enough? I wasn't sure. Wow. Can they even see my face? Kind of. On here though, it still looks bright, like on the camera. Yeah, guys, it's pretty dark. Is this one quarter two or no? Yeah. Oh, half, I think. Don't look this half. See, I think the eggshell, it looks nicer in here because it, there's no light coming through. So you can actually see like the eggshell color versus mm -hmm. the living room. I feel like you're getting the color of the, like the reflection of the glass or something. Should we do a Sephora haul? Oh no. None of that. <laughs> but then the people that you bought for, they're gonna know what you got them. Oh yeah, sorry. No Sephora haul. Sorry guys. <laughs> oh. Oh. What is it, Lou? What is wrong with she? It took her to Sephora, guys, and she was being such a good girl, huh? Alright, should we go eat now? Because I'm, I'm starving. starving. Let's we are see. starving. So guys, I'm picking you up because we are gonna go get some Christmas trees. We're just we're one, actually. One? No, what? we're just getting one. Sorry. We are gonna be getting our Christmas tree today. We're um, try attempting to. Attempting to. Yeah, attempting to. Hopefully, they have um, smaller ones because we are looking for a smaller Christmas tree. Update on Hawaii weather, though, since I have you guys and we're in the car. The water does seem to be more or less drained out it's not flooded anymore luckily it's not raining either but supposedly we're not out of the woods yet um i was watching the news this morning and it was saying that there's possibility of more rain so but we upgraded to flood watch as opposed to flood warning but i will definitely pick you guys up when we get to the christmas tree please Do they have any? Oh, that has one. Oh, okay, so that's. Oh, I see. That one, it's mm. a scotch pine. Mm. What are the different ones? Scotch pine, and this one's just a, a Douglas fir. Uh huh. And, or grand fir. Grand fir. And that's a scotch pine, too. We had different kinds. We had these papers. There's a very nice lady working at Ko'olau Farmers here on Bertania in Macaulay area. She just let us know that at the Central Union Church, they actually have some Christmas trees that they're selling there. So we're actually going to go there. There wasn't too much selection here at the Ko'olau Farmers. so They're yeah. getting shipment in, but we wanted to get it today. so. Not sure when the shipment is. Ooh, busy, busy. Gotta get that Vlogmas content. Anyways, we'll see you guys at the Central Union Church. Where is that? Over there on the right. Oh, it's muddy over here. Hi, guys. How's it going? Yeah, that's like a beer. Which tree do we get? We kind of like this one. This little one. Isn't it cute? Ooh, it's so muddy out here. Or maybe something like this one? Noble fur? Yep. Thanks again, bro. Yeah, no worries. 
Yeah. Merry Christmas, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got our first Christmas tree. Oh man, this was like the perfect size. I mean, it was kind of pricey, but can't go wrong, guys. This is like the perfect size for us. It fits in my trunk, so I don't have to borrow my dad's uh, car. Yay, our first Christmas tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely have to hit up Target and get the like base. the stand, the yeah. base, and like the tree skirt and everything. But I think we're gonna do that tomorrow. Does it fit? You should have put the trunk in. Yeah. Just she fit? barely fits. Yay! Wow, there she goes. Oh, oh it does make quite a mess. Uh oh. Gotta vacuum this thing. Look how huge this is. That's why we can never be skinny. Guys, we went to tea time here in Kalihi because we're actually waiting for our order at Home Depot to be ready. Yeah, we ordered something from Home Depot. Well, what was it called? The tree stand? But it's not ready yet. <laughs> Yeah, because we need something to hold our baby up, you know what I mean? Anyway, I got, it's called an ugly milk tea. It's like a brown sugar milk tea. And instead of boba, I got custard. I just like the consistency of pudding more than boba. And supposedly boba is really bad for you. I don't know. Oh, and you're wondering why the quality of the this clip is weird or whatever. It's because our camera died. We yeah. to bring the extra battery. So we're gonna wait until they notify that our order is ready. I told Amanda we should have just went there and bought it. Bought it. it would have been faster, but lucky me. So where are we gonna put it? We're gonna put it in that corner where your bookshelf was. So guys, he's talking about this area next to the TV in that corner right there. Guys, our Christmas tree is in. Come on, Lou. Well, Furi Ohana, that about wraps up today's adventure. Also, I think we forgot to mention what we ate earlier for lunch slash dinner. Mm. We're not gonna eat again, because that was a lot of food. But that place was called Don E Don on Keomoku Street. If you guys wanna know more about that, maybe a future food video on that. We feature some of the dishes we like and stuff. Let us know if that's what you wanna see and you're interested in. But- oh, Lucy, you wanna be in the video too? Cry baby, cry baby. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming along today. And I know today's video was not the complete Christmas tree experience, but we will be heading to Target or Walmart or something tomorrow to get like lights and stuff like that and a Christmas tree uh, skirt and like the so. topper and everything. We're gonna be doing that tomorrow because honestly, we ran out of time today and we are just so tired. We're up early and you know how like everyone came and stuff, so. It was a very hectic day for us, but yeah, <laughs> tomorrow, yeah. tomorrow will be exciting. At least the rain went away. Yes, the rain went away and the sunset was beautiful. Ended up rearranging because we put the Christmas tree where the bookshelf was. So if you see right there, we put the bookshelf 
next to the couch. So the couch and then the bookshelf and then my desk. And then look how yeah. beautiful the curtains are at night. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh man. It's like we're staying at a hotel or something. <laughs> kind of crazy. It looks like a legit house now. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for coming along on this adventure with us today. We had a really great day and we hope you guys did too. If you like this type of content, hit that subscribe button and join our ohana. Yeah, like this video as well. And we'll see you on the next video tomorrow. tomorrow. All right, let's get to decorating our tree tomorrow. Lucy says bye. Bye.